Welcome to the first vlog of 2023, where I am about to destroy my Blundstones for a good reason. So Blundstones have a lifetime warranty and unfortunately my Blundstones have like cracked so badly on the bottom. Like if I just like peel this away, I can see the shank on the inside. And like if I even walk on a little bit of water, it just goes sucks right up into the boot and my feet get wet, which makes me so incredibly sad because these are my most favorite shoes probably of all time. If you've never had a pair of Blundstones, I will recommend them to literally anyone. Taylor says they look like serial killer boots. <laughs> And to be honest, when I first got them, I actually thought they were really ugly too. I've had these babies for a very, very long time. Um, I used to work at a shoe store back in the day and I got these when I worked there. And they honestly, aside from the sole being cracked, are still in such good condition. Like these babies have been with me for a while. Anyway, so Blunt Tones has a warranty and I wasn't really sure if they were gonna do it or not because these are quite old, but um, they were like, yeah, send us a picture of your boots, cut, cut them up and we'll send you a new pair. And I was like, thank the Lord, like, because these are my all time favorite boots and a new pair just ain't in the budget right now. So I'm so excited that I don't have to cry about not having Blundstones anymore, but I do have to do something quite horrendous. I have to cut the elastic out of them and cut the tabs off. I mean, I literally can't wear them anymore anyway because where I live, it's pretty wet out there. And if I wear these outside, my feet will get wet, which kind of defeats the purpose of wearing shoes in the winter time. So, I mean, I have to cut them up anyway. It just feels so very wrong. This literally disgusts me. Like, I can't believe I have to do this. <laughs> it looks so funny now. So over the week I have been working on getting this room cleaned up because it has been... I just haven't really done anything down here since last spring and I've just been piling and piling, piling and piling things in here so it kind of became a crazy crazy mess and I had to put away the Christmas decorations and all of that so I've been trying my best to clean up this room this week and so far this is kind of what we're looking at. It looks pretty good from over here. I do have curtains that I'm gonna hang up here Hopefully Tyler's gonna help me that with that before the weekend is over. I try it myself, but I don't know. I just feel like I'm gonna mess it up. Um, but then I still have like a ton of stuff down here to figure out, but I apologize for the state of my hair and my face. There's no makeup going on and I had a shower today and didn't do anything in my hair since then. I have just finished my audiobook, which I've been reading since before Christmas, which was A Court of Silver Flames. So I'm really excited that I finally get to read some of my Christmas books that are like on paperback that I got. So I kind of want to take a break from cleaning for a little while and maybe go upstairs and read a book. But I really did want to try and finish this room before the weekend was up. So maybe I'll work on it again tonight or maybe I'll just wait till tomorrow. Only time will tell. Yeah, <clears throat> trying to put my closet curtains up today. I have recruited Tyler to help me. Now, where do we put the second one? So, I will say it's a little bit weird because there's going to be two of these things in the middle. Oh, oh that's good. Oh! <laughs> you want me to try? Oh! Do you want me to hold it up? 
So there's some, hold that to where it's gonna be with your fingers. That's right to the edge, right? Push on it. It is. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go, and you want it right there. I'm gonna put it a little bit further so we have like a finger's width. We're gonna have to take this anyway. <laughs> oh yeah, it looks great. So if we go all the way to the end of that. Wow, look Thought, at that. Nice. I have no idea how level it is, but. Should we put the curtains on? See what it looks like? All I did was eyeball it. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, slide through. Okay, there you go. Randy. Very nice. Very nice. Thoughts? Probably gonna get dirty, but. You go all the way to the floor? I do go all the way to the floor, and then so I think. Well, if I can shorten them if I want to. I think they're pretty. Perfect! Pretty Look at going that! On. It's literally like exactly where you'd want it. And it's a nice backdrop. Look at that! That looks great! You're happy with that? Yeah, let's put the other one on. Paint. <laughs> you did! Jeez! <laughs> Whoops! I wanted to, I could just put like a safety pin or something. Get some magnets or Good morning, everybody. Um, it is only 9.20, which is quite early for me to be up and about. But um, I stayed at my parents' last night because I have a hair appointment today and the buses, they just don't run where I live to the hair place. So I had to stay up here and then I have to get the bus the rest of the way. It's kind of a bummer in the winter time when Tyler takes his car back and I kind of got to figure this stuff out for myself. But um, Something really exciting, my boots came yesterday. I am so excited. And I really wanna wear them today. Look how beautiful and fresh they are. Like they're so much darker than mine because they're new. But yeah, I really wanna wear them today because it is, I don't have any like, other boots like at all. And it is like snowing. However, I don't have any like, protectant spray or like at all so I'm hoping like it will be fine also what's gonna suck is breaking these bad boys in I remember it took a while last time but they eventually became so perfect I never wanted to take they became so perfect I never wanted to wear any other shoes except for in the summertime when it got too hot to wear these anyway let's go get my hair did <laughs> I just made some banana bread. It is still cooking and while it was cooking I decided to do my yoga. I've been doing um, the yoga with Adrian like 30 day yoga journey on YouTube. I'm definitely a couple days behind because some days I just like don't have the time 
to get it done but um, I'm just kind of taking it slow and just going with the flow and um, they get done when they get done and it's kind of working for me so just going with that. Um, I feel like this vlog is kind of all over the map. I feel like after vlogmas, after vlogging every day and like trying to vlog so many, so much stuff like in a day, you kind of vlog a lot of stuff that's not really that important. So like when I go back to weekly vlogging, I'm just like kind of stuck in this weird state of trying to figure out what is important and what is not. I also literally cannot tell if I'm in focus right now or not which is really bothering me, but yeah. Yesterday I got my hair done. I didn't do anything to it today, so it's a little bit messy. And I ended up wearing my new Blundstones out because it was like so, it was like snowing and everything and I didn't want to wear sneakers and get like my feet soaked. But because it was literally the first time I wore them and I did kind of forget this about Blundstone is that you do have to break them in. Once they're broken in, they are the most comfortable shoes in the world and I will die on that hill. I probably will wear Blundstones for the rest of my life because I love them so much. But you gotta break them in first, at least I do anyway, because like it's it's all kind of stiff and it's gonna kind of mold to your like shape of your foot and everything. <laughs> oh my goodness, I, I'm gonna have to not wear them for a couple of days because they like, my feet got torn up a little bit. So, because I did a lot of walking yesterday because I had to walk to the bus, from the bus stop, to the hair place, from the hair place to, the bus stop and then from the bus stop to my parents place and then i also went to the thrift store because i was early for my appointment so i did a lot of walking in them yesterday which probably helped like break them in but it also kind of broke my foot in a little bit but i still stand by blundstone and once i have them broken in they are going to be amazing um so my banana bread is going to be about 20 more minutes um so i'm just gonna hang out here and read my book, The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. I started it on the weekend. I'm a little over halfway through, like just barely halfway through. And I've been really liking it so far. It's one of those books that really kind of like sucks you into the whole world. So, so far I'm really liking it. I did actually read another series by her like a long time ago. Um, Tith, Valiant, and Ironside, I think is what they were called. And my sister actually just gave them to me before Christmas because she was getting rid of them. And I figured I'd probably want to read them again because it's been so long. I got this one for Christmas and I was waiting to read it. And honestly, I usually read on my phone because honestly buying all the books is pretty pricey. So I usually read on my phone because there is a library app where you can get not every single book in the world, but like most books that you look up are on there. I will say there's been a few that haven't been, but like you know, most of the popular ones are on there anyway, and you do usually have to, there's like a waiting period until it's your time in the line to get it, but it's completely free, which is perfect because I don't have to go anywhere and I can read books for free, but it's just not quite the same experience as reading it in the paperback form. I prefer paperbacks over hardcovers too, just, I'm not even gonna lie, something about just holding a book just brings me joy. Like just holding it and like just knowing that there's like so much in there. Like I don't even know what it is. Like I can't even really describe it, but just holding a book, just holding it is exciting. <laughs> Let alone reading it. But there's something about reading a book on paper, like the original way, that is just, it's really like, it's not, it's, it's not comparable, you know? I will say I am a big audiobook person too, just because... I can read audiobooks while I literally do anything. Like when I do like my home renos or like paint the walls or wash the dishes or like fold the laundry, whatever, you can listen to an audiobook, which I love because that way you can actually be a little bit productive and still get the story. But sometimes I do feel like I miss things that way. And sometimes I don't like the voices of the people that are telling the story. But I do say the best way to read a book is to actually read it on paper. But there's also a lot more ways to enjoy books. Anyway, I don't know why I'm even talking about these things, but I'm gonna read my book now before the timer goes off on the oven. Golden boy. Golden boy. Oh. You're playing the thief? Each time you play modifier. This isn't gonna. Okay, so I just figured out. Alright, Ash, you're gonna have to. <laughs> I thought it was Ash, you're gonna have to start singing. <laughs> 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 
birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Cody. Happy birthday to you. Yay!